Oh, it's going to beat the Wii U, I think, for sure. I have a little doubt of that. But, like, the whole testing the water thing, it's like, what would they, what would they do whenever the Xbox One and PS4 came out? They came up with all the latest games that they were developing on, even though those were not proven systems. There was no guarantee that people were going to buy PS4s or Xbox Ones, but they went ahead and went in head first with their latest games, put in all this development resources and everything like that, and they released games. With this, it's like, eh, we'll, we'll, we'll test it out. We'll, 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 we'll test the waters out because, you know, well, we got burned by the Wii U, even though we didn't even go in head first with the Wii U. We didn't even give it a proper shake. We were just testing the waters of those too, you know, and then... It's like, oh, EA, you released a Mass Effect 3 game, like, um, seven months after you released on the other platforms, and at the same time you released that game, you released a Mass Effect trilogy that has all three games of a story-heavy franchise on both the 360 and PS3, yet when it comes to the Wii U, you only release a third game for the same price as the trilogy on the other platforms, and then all of a sudden, you're surprised as to why it's not sold on the Wii U. And then you're like, oh, well, I guess we're going to stop supporting the Wii U. Well, duh, nobody's going to buy a game that is a game that already came out a few months ago when you're charging it full price while it's on sale for like 30 bucks on the other platforms. And there's no advantages of any sort. There's not better graphics. There's not new features. There's not new content or anything. I think they added some DLC, but that was it. So it was like, ah, of course it's not going to sell EA. And you know, fucking uh, Bethesda and 2K, they're doing the same shit. Ubisoft's going to be doing the same shit. They're like, re they're going to be doing a re-release of Rayman Legends Definitive Edition. And then that's not going to be sold because people already played the game four years ago. And then they wonder, oh, well, look, people don't buy your games. So we're not going to release them for the Switch. Ashley. Well, yeah, because you're releasing all ass fucking games that people already play. They don't want to rebuy those games. <laughs> it's like Bulletstorm Full Clip Edition. It's not going to sell. The game didn't sell the first time. Why would it sell the second time when you could buy it used on the 360 for like under 10 bucks? What's the point? Oh, with the chat and me? <laughs> Oh, I got you. We were just chatting about the Switch and all that shit, you know, Nintendo. But, uh, yeah, I just kind of went on a little rant about how these companies will, like, test the waters with the Switch. Like, oh, we don't know if it's going to be a big seller. Yeah, they went in head first with the other systems, and they didn't care. You know, they, like, they just spent all this money and all these resources on developing for them. And if they would have done the same for the Switch, who knows? Maybe their games would sell a bit better on the system. Just saying. You know, just saying. If yes. games like Resident Evil 7 yes. came out on Switch at launch, hell, who wouldn't love to play a portable version of Resident Evil 7? I would definitely love to do that. You know, all these other cool games. But instead, oh, we'll get, let's get Skyrim, a game that's six years old. And who's going to really care? I mean, it is going to be portable now, but... I don't know if that's going to be a big selling factor for a game that's old. Plus, plus, where the hell is the game? It's Skyrim. It's a game they already released. And on released on weaker consoles, mind you. So why is it not already out on the Switch? You know, why Why is there... There, bet, there has to be new content. They have to. If they do not have some kind of new content in the game, it's not going to sell. So then what was the point of porting it? And why the time took the ported 